welcome. So I am thrilled to announce that the next dean of Yale College is Pericles Lewis, the Douglas Tracy Smith Professor of Comparative Literature and Professor of English. Great. Thank you all for joining us for this announcement. Thanks to the Yale, is that the Precision Marching Band, the Concert Band, Random, okay, got it. Thank you, Tom Duffy, for assembling a band for us today. Thank you so much. Pericles is joined by his family, his wife, uh, Sheila Hare, their, their daughter, uh, Maya, and their son, Siddhartha, couldn't join us today. Uh, but he is watching on Zoom, I understand. Uh, Sheila is a graduate of uh, the Yale Law School and currently teaches at the Quinnipiac, Quinnipiac Law School. Siddhartha graduated from Yale College two days ago with a BS in mathematics. We congratulate him. And Maya is a Yale College sophomore majoring in English and biology. So many of you know Professor Lewis is an internationally recognized expert on the qualities and purposes of liberal, of liberal education. He's been a talent, he is a talented uh, faculty member, been committed teacher and educator here at Yale since he joined the faculty in 1998 and has been deeply involved in university life ever since. In addition to teaching and writing and editing, Professor Lewis has served now as the Vice President for Global Strategy and as a Vice Provost for Academic Initiatives. Among his many contributions in those roles, he worked with the Yale School of Public Health to launch an online master's degree program. We worked with the Jackson Institute to create a new master's degree program in public policy. He's worked with the deans of medicine, nursing, and public health to establish the Yale Institute for Global Health. And uh, his role also included oversight over the Macmillan Center, the Yale Center Beijing, the Yale Young Global Scholars Program, and many other departments uh, and centers. But his work in the education of students at Yale goes back decades. He was the director of undergraduate studies in Complit back in 2000, from 2000 to 2006, and he helped integ integrate the two majors that the department used to sponsor. He updated the curriculum. In 2005, he uh, worked uh, uh, on the undergraduate cu curriculum as a member and later as chair of the Yale College Committee on majors. And in his scholarly life, uh, he works on uh, literary modernism. He's the author of three books on the social and intellectual contexts of modern literature. And right now, he is working on a manuscript on the role of liberal education in developing character, fostering community, preparing young people for citizenship, encouraging the pursuit of knowledge. Now, I think many of you know, I'm realizing you're all skewed to one side. I'm, I'm getting you all only in one hemisphere of my brain at the, at the moment. But um, between two, 2012 and 2017, Professor uh, Lewis left Yale to serve as the founding president of Yale NUS College. He quickly established himself as an international authority on global arts and sciences education. He oversaw the development of the Yale NUS College curriculum, which was a very innovative uh, curriculum. He recruited diverse groups of students and faculty and staff to work at Yale NUS College. And as a result of this foundational work, Yale NUS College did what we hoped it would do, which was inspire innovation in undergraduate education, uh, first at the National University of Singapore, then throughout Singapore, 
then through other institutions in Asia, and ultimately influence what we did here domestically, especially uh, in Yale College. Now, some of you in this room have worked with Pericles over the past two years, especially on sustaining Yale's teaching and research missions during COVID. That has not been easy, and uh, I wish I could thank individually so many of you in this room who played important roles in getting us through the last two years. Those roles are not over yet. I wish I could say they were. But uh, Pericles, as you know, uh, uh, was a very important advisor on COVID-19 because he chaired the Academic Continuity Committee, which, was, uh, which is essentially addressed how do we keep going? How do we keep pursuing research? How do we keep pursuing education and learning uh, uh, despite the challenges of COVID? He was also a member of the Operating Policy Committee, which translated recommendations we were getting from Yale's unbelievable experts in the health sciences, particularly modeling going on in the School of Public Health, how do you translate that into actions we could take on campus? So he worked in partnership with faculty and staff and students and figured out how and when we could welcome, back, welcome students back to a safe campus environment and how we could educate them both remotely and in person. He oversaw the Porovu Center for Teaching and Learning. As you know, they played a critical role, their staff played a cr critical role in helping us co convert to online and hybrid education. During that time, he guided the university planning for the opening of the Schwartzman Center. We are now uh, in commons of the Schwartzman Center, this beautiful room that has been preserved historically, but uh, in ways that are far more functional than it used to uh, be. Down below, I hope virtually everyone in this room has seen those beautiful spaces, and of course behind that wall, all kinds of new uh, uh, resources for uh, students and the larger Yale community. He contributed to the planning of the new Yale Jackson School for Global Affairs uh, at, during this period of time as well. So on July 1st, Pericles will step down from all of those other roles, except for his oversight of the Schwarzman Center, and assume the role of Dean of Yale College. Uh, we will absorb many of his previous functions within the provost's office. Uh, we're working that out now and throughout the summer. There is no doubt, however, that with his international experience, we will still turn to Pericles for advice uh, on all kinds of issues during these geopolitically complicated uh, times. He will, though, focus on his partnerships with other university leaders, with the faculty, with the staff, uh, guiding the curriculum, the intellectual life uh, uh, of Yale College, student affairs in Yale College, and of course with the heads of the residential colleges and the deans of residential college, uh, the experience of life within the residential communities. Um, in doing so, he will build on Dean Marvin Chun's immense accomplishments over the last five years, for which we are incredibly grateful. I'll have more to say about that in a moment. Uh, ensuring that an undergraduate education at Yale is unsurpassed, unsurpassed by any other liberal arts college sitting in the middle of a research university. It will be and continue to be a model for the entire world. Let me take a moment to thank the uh, in, uh, search advisory committee members chaired by Professor uh, Margaret Clark, who is also the head of Trumbull College, uh, and included uh, Professor Amy Meredith Cox, Dean Christina Ferrando, Professor Alan Gerber, former, de former Deputy Dean Joe Gordon, Professor Tina Liu, 
Uh, Mayun Chun from the class of 2023, Professor David Vasur, and my chief of staff, Susan Gibbons, who staffed the committee. They did enormous amounts of outreach to the Yale community. Uh, they provided thoughtful recommendations and a very exciting shortlist of potential candidates. Finally, finally, my heartfelt gratitude to my partner in crime here, Dean Marvin Chun. We are... Dean Chun and I have been colleagues in the psychology department for decades. I was uh, involved in hiring him in the psychology department twice, uh, 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 as well as his wife, Wukang An. And um, one couldn't have been blessed with a better colleague, a more wonderful friend, and a dean more committed to the life uh, and education of our undergraduates. You've been an outstanding leader for Yale College for the past five years. I know you share my excitement about Professor Pericles Lewis's appointment. And uh, before turning uh, the podium over to Professor Lewis, I want to invite Dean Chun to say a few words to us. Once again, thank you all for being here, and thank you for all that you do for Yale. Dean Chun. Uh, good afternoon. Um, please excuse uh, my mask. I'm, I'm following close contact protocols. I'm wondering where I got exposed. Um, we just had commencement for 20,000 people. Um, I'm delighted to welcome uh, Professor Lewis to the best job in academia. I've long admired his contributions to Yale and his achievements as the founding president of Yale NUS College. Because I was involved in the planning of Yale NUS and served on their governing board, I'm in a pretty unique position to be in awe of what he had accomplished there. Professor Lewis had led Yale NUS College to become one of the most innovative liberal arts colleges around the globe with a curriculum that is global and inclusive, a residential life that successfully incorporated the best features of Yale's residential colleges while adapting to Singapore context. Uh, if you want, you can Google Yale NUS College Sky Garden. They have a faculty committed to collaborative teaching, a staff dedicated to both a rigorous education and student wellness, and an internationally diverse student body that, like our students at Yale, are sought after by top institutions for their love of learning and care for others. I went into detail about them because I'm excited for what Professor Lewis will bring to Yale College. He begins his term as the Dean of Yale College with more administrative experience than I had starting in this role, and more than I have now, even after completing a five-year term. So frankly, I'm very flattered to see such an academic superstar uh, leader as my successor. In turn, I'm proud and happy to be passing on a college that is flourishing as best as one can after a challenging two years for everyone. The Yale College Dean's Office is more collaborative, proactive, and resilient than before because that is how the faculty, staff, and students have all been. I'm grateful to President Salovey for entrusting me with this role, and I thank him for supporting Yale College and me so strongly throughout my entire term. Every significant request I made such as the elimination of build student effort and financial aid and the Camp Yale orientation flip, you, he has granted with enthusiasm. I also thank Provost Scott Strobel. He has provided all the guidance and resources needed to manage through the pandemic, culminating in the renaissance of in-person campus life and two glorious commencement weekends. Provost Strobel has positioned Yale College for greater success in the years ahead building on former Provost Ben Polak's legacy, 
by approving significant enhancements to financial aid, residential life, student life, and of course, academic programs and facilities. It's kind of like starting with a blank check. <laughs> uh, much of the college's work is powered by our distinguished faculty colleagues led by Faculty of Arts and Sciences, Dean Tamar Gendler, School of Engineering and Applied Science, Dean Jeff Brock, and FAS Steering Group. Yale College also works closely with the Graduate School led by Lynn Cooley, and we are grateful for our academic partnerships with the professional schools where our undergraduate students are fortunate to take classes and pursue majors. I'd like to remind everyone here that Yale College depends on the entire university, and so I am grateful for having worked regularly with the Yale Alumni Association, Yale Athletics, Chaplain's Office, Facilities and Grounds, General Counsel, Yale Health, Yale Hospitality, Information Technology Services, Human Resources, Operations, Police and Public Security, Office of Public Affairs, Secretary's Office, and also other key offices that Professor Lewis has supervised already, the Registrar's Office, the Purvu Center, Conferences and Events, Global Strategy, and the Schwartzman Center. We have incredibly caring alumni, parents, and friends who support our mission with inspiring generosity, and their gifts are managed wisely by the three offices of development, investments, and finance. I believe that Yale has the most vibrant residential college communities in the world, led by prominent heads, deans, and staff members devoted to our students. I will always be proud and grateful to have served as head of Berkeley College as much as I am to have served as dean of Yale College. Each year, the Yale College Dean's Office trains over 200 student leaders, first-year counselors, peer liaisons, peer mentors, communication and consent educators, committee members, and student staff members in our offices and cultural centers. And working independently but in close collaboration, Yale College Council is an essential partner to help the dean understand and support student needs. The Yale College Dean's Office itself has over 230 outstanding staff members across the offices of Academic Affairs, Admissions and Financial Aid, Administrative Affairs, Center for International and Professional Experience, Strategic Initiatives and Communication, the Council of Heads of College, the Residential College Dean's Offices, Development, External Affairs and Special Projects, Finance, Student Affairs, Student Engagement and the Cultural Centers, and undergraduate education. Led by fantastic senior associate deans and directors, I view each office to be the best across all of higher education. My biggest joy in the deanship was working with such brilliant and dedicated colleagues who are now like a second family to me. We've been through a lot. And my colleagues gave everything they have, day and night, without weekends or recess, to the students, to each other and me, and to Yale. Uh, friends, I, I really appreciate you, and I love you. Dean Lewis, you will love them too. The entire Yale College Dean's Office and I are thrilled to support your deanship. Thank you for accepting the role, and congratulations. Thank you, Dean Chun. We so appreciate your leadership. And now I'd like to introduce the next Dean of Yale College, Pericles Lewis. Thank you so much, President Sadley. Could I invite those who are at that end of the room to come over into the middle of the room, if you're willing? It's good to get a little circulation. Thank you. Don't worry, I won't keep you for too long. Thank you so much, President Salovey and Dean Chun. President Salovey, thank you for your leadership and for entrusting this important role to me. Um, thanks also to the members of the Search Advisory Committee. I, I really appreciate your confidence. And Dean Chun, thank you for the inspiring work that you have done in the past five years under some of the difficult circumstances that you mentioned to lead this community. It's really a true honor 
to be named your successor, and I, I appreciate your very kind words. Next year will be the 25th uh, since I joined Yale College as a faculty member and started teaching. The college is a remarkable institution dedicated to light and truth. And even though we may all pursue truth by our own lights, one of the great things about the college is the way that we work together, we try and help light each other's way. The fact that we're all pursuing truth together is part of what makes this a place of great learning and communal joy. And what makes the four years that our undergraduates spend with us so transformative for them and also truthfully transformative for us, the faculty and the staff. Next academic year will be the fourth year since the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, the class of 2023 has never known a totally COVID-free year at Yale. And these last few years have made the central act of Yale College, which is learning together, somewhat more challenging, considerably more challenging. I'd like to salute the students and the faculty and especially the staff who have persevered during challenging times and who've made it possible for us to continue our educational mission and also our great research during this challenging period. In particular, I'm very grateful to the heads and the deans of the residential colleges, to the Yale College uh, office, dean's office staff, to the staff of the residential colleges, and also, of course, to our colleagues in hospitality and facilities, because they've, all of you together, have kept this place open and made it possible for students to learn, even at a time when, at times, it has been challenging and when guidelines on public health have been changing and sometimes it has been stressful. I thank you for that and I hope that this is a, an opportunity for some well-deserved rest for people who have been working so hard the last few years. I also know that many of you have been through a difficult period and I look forward to supporting the staff in their essential roles as we go forward. I believe that next year we'll have the opportunity to recover from the worst of COVID and to experience the transformative communal life of college together more intensely in the arts and in athletics, in the residential colleges and the cultural houses, in study abroad and volunteer work, in the library and in the laboratory, in the classroom and in extracurricular activities. And I look forward to participating in that. Next year will be the 323rd year of Yale College. The college began by educating young men from Connecticut and Western Massachusetts in the liberal arts and sciences, in the words of the charter, to prepare them for public employment both in church and civil state. And only eight students graduated at the first commencement in New Haven more than 300 years ago. Since then, while the college's goal of educating talented young people for future leadership has not changed, Yale has continually expanded, not only in terms of pedagogy, not only in terms of numbers, but also in the range of subjects we teach, the excellence of our curriculum and pedagogy and research, and the diversity of our student body. For almost a century, the residential colleges have created enduring communities that are an essential part of the broader Yale ecosystem. I could not be prouder of the progress that Yale has made in the past 60 years to become a college that better reflects the great diversity of the United States and that welcomes students regardless of ability to pay from around the world. There's, of course, much more work to do. And like our sister schools here and abroad, we've uh, faced some tumultuous times over the last few years. But I believe in a Yale where everyone, regardless of race or socioeconomic status, gender, sexuality, or gender identity or expression, disability or veteran status, religious or political perspective or national or ethnic origin, can learn together. And such an environment for learning requires respect and tolerance and a willingness to listen to one another. 
Most of all, it requires an openness on the part of each of us, an openness to learn and a humility. Excuse me. A humility about how little we actually know. I promise I won't do this every time I make a speech. <laughs> Yale's world-leading research, our dedicated teachers, our distinctive residential system, and what I think of as the civil society of Yale, the web of groups and traditions and activities that make up its unique culture, these are worth cherishing and preserving. They've been underpinned over the years by an ethos of service. While we, of course, want our students to develop their talents fully and their characters as individuals, we also expect that Yale alumni will make broader contributions to the communities that they choose to live in and will use their capacities to the highest possible ends. So we hope that our students carry the dedication to light and truth with them beyond their four years in the college. Thank you again for this honor. I take it on in a spirit of openness and humility. In closing, I'd like to thank my family, some of whom are with me, and some of whom are Yale graduates, and as was mentioned, one of whom is a very recent Yale graduate indeed. I'm grateful to the teams in global strategy and academic initiatives. I'm happy to see so many of you here. Uh, you've worked tirelessly over the last five years to ensure that the mission of this great university, a re research university that, as President Salovey has said, puts teaching at its core, remains central. To the team I'm joining in Yale College, I look forward to getting to know you better, to continuing to provide the world's greatest undergraduate education. To the faculty, thank you for your continued collegial support and dedication to our mission. To the students, have a wonderful, exciting, restful summer. Can't wait to see you all in the, academic, in the new academic year. And in the words of the old Yale football song, Bula Bula. I probably should have warned the band about that so they could start playing it. But anyway, Bula Bula. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just thank uh, Maya and Sheila for joining us uh, today. Once again, Dean Chun for your incredible stewardship of Yale College. And Professor Lewis, Pericles Lewis, thank you for saying yes when I called you. Uh, I think you can all see this is a man who, uh, whose emotional commitment to this position is obvious and uh, whose passion for the uh, position uh, uh, is uh, so, uh, so readily on display. Uh, we're going to make him wear a mask for all future speeches, <laughs> however. Uh, thank you all for joining us today for this announcement. We have refreshments courtesy of Yale Hospitality. We ask you to join us in celebrating this moment uh, by, uh, by partaking. Thank you all for being here, and thank you all for what you do for Yale College. <laughs>